Francisco. Oh, right here. <laughs> Congratulations on the victory. Uh, what are your initial thoughts after a back and forth fight like that? Parabéns pela vitória. Quais são seus pensamentos agora de uma guerra dessa de cima para baixo? É, agora descansar, né? Descansar, falar com minha família, falar com meu filho, falar com meu pai, com minha mãe e tirar um pouquinho do peso do, dessa luta, né? Eu estava precisando de uma grande luta e estava precisando de uma vitória. Eu queria um nocaute, mas não vi o um nocaute, mas estou muito feliz pela, pela essa luta. I needed to win. I really needed to have a hard fight, and I really needed to win. Um, I did what I needed to do. I just really want to be back now with my family, with my, with my kids, with my family, be around everybody that I love, and prepare for the next one. In that first round, it seems like you hurt him pretty badly, and then he survived, and he came back and even showed some signs of success. Did you have to make any adjustments in there based off the adjustments that he, he was also making on the fly? No primeiro round, você deu pancada nele, né? Ele foi um round muito dominante seu, mas ele voltou no segundo round com, com sinais de vida. E você, ele adaptou um pouco ao jogo. Você tem que adaptar no segundo round ou foi o mesmo game plan? É, a estratégia era para mim começar no box, chutar bastante as pernas dele, mas como eu machuquei minha canela aí numa, num treino, né? no último spar meu, eu não podia treino, chutar. Mas eu dominei ele no box ali, né? Talvez se eu tivesse chutado mais ali as pernas dele, talvez eu tinha acabado a luta aí. My strategy from the beginning was to to not clinch up with him, to not touch him at all, to stay outside, use my box, and kick him a lot in the legs. However, I I sustained an injury on my shin, on my left shin, which kept me from kicking, so I had to adapt and just try to box. My goal was really, I really wanted to finish. I really wanted a knockout, but with my kicks taken away, I had to rely on my boxing, and uh, I got the victory that way. The fans were obviously, they enjoyed the fight, and I know you're, you're probably disappointed you didn't get the finish, but is there a silver lining in the fact that you guys put on an exciting fight and the fans enjoyed it? Os fãs amaram sua luta, foi uma luta fantástica. Então, até um, um, um ponto que você está mesmo feliz com isso, sabendo que não finalizou ele, não nocauteou ele, mas foi uma luta maravilhosa, uma vitória grande para você. Ainda te dá satisfação, mesmo sem ter finalizado? Me dá, me dá, porque ele aguentou, né? Ele... Eu sabia que ele era um moleque duro, eu sabia que ele apanha, 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 mas na hora que volta, no comecinho do round, ele vem bem forte. Ele recupera muito bem. Isso aí eu prestei bem atenção, que ele recupera muito bem. Eu já tinha olhado, eu, mas meus treinador, que sempre ele começa o round forte e recupera bem. Mas todo mundo sabe que eu também sou um moleque muito forte. Sim, uh, yeah, of course, it makes me happy to win. I wanted to win. There is a silver lining, I'm happy because. It was a fan favorite fight. It was a great fight. And I knew that, impressively, he's recovering capabilities. Like, I know I heard him, and he comes back every round strong. I knew he recovers fast, but uh, he's dealing with me. I recover fast, and I'm stronger. And finally, I don't know if you're aware, but next month is the 10-year anniversary of your UFC debut. I, don't, I think you might even be the only fighter left from that card still fighting. So can you just reflect on the last 10 years of a lot of people want to get here, but you've lasted a whole decade in the biggest fight promotion in the world. Você não sabe que a semana que vem vai se fazer 10 anos da sua estreia aqui no UFC. Então, o que é que falar com você reflete nessa sua carreira de 10 anos? Tem muita gente que está querendo chegar aqui e você já está aqui há 10 anos. Qual é a reflexão que você tem desses 10 anos de estar aqui no UFC? É, eu sou um cara bem dedicado, né? Um cara bem dedicado. Minha de criança, eu, eu, sempre eu falo com um menino mais novo que eu, que eu comecei a trabalhar com oito anos de idade, sempre onde eu comecei a trabalhar, ninguém nunca me mandou embora do serviço. Com oito anos, eu trabalhava numa feira vendendo verdura e ninguém nunca me mandou embora. Então, o resultado está aqui. Eu entro, como eu entro no emprego, ninguém não me manda embora, porque sempre eu vou dar o melhor meu. It's, uh, it's how I made, you know, since I'm eight years old, I had a job, I'm responsible. It's the discipline and resiliency that sets me apart. Uh, my coach always has to, told me that I'm the hardest one to keep away from training. I always want to train more. I've never been fired from a job or let go. I always show up, I always work the hardest. And it's, that's my attitude. I want to be the hardest worker in the room. I'm going to keep working hard. Um, I never got let go, like I said, from any job. And uh, being here just makes me grow. It's my discipline, my resiliency, my consistency that makes me successful after 10 years. Francisco, over here. Uh, you've been in this game for a very long time, successful the entire time, pretty much. At 43 years old, how much longer do you want to keep doing this? You've been in this game for a long time. 
Está 43. Quais são os seus planos do futuro? Né? Quanto mais você quer lutar? É, eu falo sempre para o meu professor. Né? Enquanto eu tiver energia para treinar, eu estou sempre lutando e sempre dando trabalho para os moleques. É, eu, eu tenho 33 anos. Né? Sempre eu falo, eu nunca saio dos 33. I tell my coaches, I stop aging at 33. So, as long as my coaches are willing to put up with me and get me to hard training camps, I'm here to fight. Like I said, I don't look at my age. I, feel, I tell everybody I stop aging at 33, I feel great. So, like I said, as long as my coaches are willing to put in the work, I'm here to fight. Hey, Francisco, over here. Uh, you hit him with a nasty body shot in the second round, dropped him. Then you uh, fell into, got him in a guillotine. It looked pretty deep. How confident were you that uh, you were going to secure the finish with that guillotine in the second round? Tu deu aquele, aquela pancada né, no, no corpo dele que ele sentiu e tu bebeu a guilhotina que estava quase encaixada. Tu pensava que ia finalizar com a guilhotina, tu estava tava encaixado mesmo, tu pensava que ele ia sair daquela guilhotina? Eu pensei que eu ia finalizar ele ali, né? Mas é igual o meu professor falou, era para mim ter largado ele e bati, batido mais nele ali. Entendeu? Aí eu quis finalizar, aí eu perdi o time da, do nocaute, né? Eu tive três chances de acabar a luta, eu não acabei porque eu agarrei aí. Eu deixei de me agarrar. I, uh, yeah, I just, uh, my, I had followed my coach's advice. I thought he was going to tap in the guillotine. But the whole entire game plan, my strategy is to not. I should have let go and kept punching and striking him. If I could have done that, you know, what, what was my, uh, my coach's strategy to always break up, not lock up with him, not grapple with him, I should have let go the guillotine and kept striking on him, I would have been able to finish the fight. And was your opponent, Danny, was he tougher than you had expected, or was he different in any way than you had expected going into the cage? E o teu oponente, né, o Danny, ele foi, ele era mais duro do que você esperava, você esperava já que ele fosse tão duro dentro do octágono? Cara, eu tinha a impressão que eu ia nocautear ele. Eu tinha a impressão que eu ia nocautear ele, que ele levou um nocaute aí, nas lutas aí, mas ele estava bem treinado, ele estava bem treinado. E eu acho bom os caras acharem que eu estou velho, entendeu? Como eu acho bom isso. Guys, um, I really thought I was going to knock him out. You know, I love, I, he's been knocked out before. I really thought in my head, I didn't think it was that tough. I really thought I was going to knock him out. And I love these young kids coming up thinking that I'm old. I love, I enjoy more than anything in the world. All these young kids coming up to me, fighting me, thinking that I'm old, and I'm proving them wrong every single time. And uh, lastly, you said on Instagram that you were born to beat other men. So this deep into your career, uh, do you love fighting as much as you once did, or do you love it even more uh, in the later stages of your career? Você falou no Instagram, né, que você que ah, você nasceu para dar porrada na galera. Então, que explica isso aí, né? E acho que você se sente ainda do mesmo jeito nesse né, nessa sua idade, nessa fase da sua carreira. Eu fico feliz quando eu meto a porrada em alguém, <laughs> e principalmente para ganhar o que eu ganho hoje em dia. Nothing makes me happier than beat people up. That's how I make my living, and that's who I am, and nothing brings a bigger smile to my face than to beat up people here in the octagon. Thank you.